I'm an Aries, I'm a triple Aries. It's my moon, sun, and rising. And Aries are known for being confident. <laughs> I am definitely an Aries. I was about like three or four or five-ish. All of our family would come down to Houston, Texas, where I'm from, usually like Thanksgiving or Christmas. And just the cousins, we would make this like choreographed dance routine. And we would be like characters and we would like gather everybody and we would perform in like the living room. We thought it was funny and we thought it was cool and we, we thought that we were doing something. At that young, young age, I watched people on TV and I loved it. I love watching iCarly. That was a really fun one for me to watch. And then Wizards of Waverly Place with Selena Gomez. I used to be obsessed with Selena Gomez as a little kid, okay? I love getting to watch people perform, but I'm like, I want to do that. So when I was five years old, I went to this summer daycare thing and they were um, doing like plays for every grade and my grade, which was kindergarten, was Chicken Little. And so I, uh, I auditioned for it. It was definitely something I've never experienced before. Like, I just loved getting to make people laugh, make people smile, and make people clap, too. And ever since then, that's when I knew that I wanted to get into acting. After Shaken Little, it was really just a bunch of, like, school plays and theater programs. Like, it was fun to do. I loved playing those characters. And I did learn, and it did help, for sure, boost my confidence. But I just, in my heart, I knew, like, I want to be on TV. Eventually, when I was, like, 10 or 11, I'm like, Mom, I really want to go out to Hollywood, and I really want to be on Nickelodeon, you know? I really want to be on a kid's network. Like, I really want to perform. And so, when I was, like, 11, 12, my mom finally agreed to do it. And we found this training program from a mutual friend. We did scenes, we ran through improv, like everything you needed basically to know to have that foundation to move out to LA. And then at the end of the nine months, we, with all the scenes that we prepared, we went out for a showcase. And that's where I signed with my amazing agent and manager. And then the next couple months, we moved out to LA. It's like moving to a whole new country. That's what it's like moving to LA. Everything's different in a way. Like being at the new school, I didn't really have any friends or I really didn't know anybody. It was definitely hard for me. Like I'm a social person. And so I unenrolled and then I did online school. So I just started getting to do more workshops, more classes, more extracurricular stuff. Like I did martial arts for a little bit. Yeah, I know. I did some like tap dancing for a little bit. I love tap, by the way. I said hip hop, hip hop, hop. This is how I hip hop, hip hop. <laughs> and then using those skills I learned, I would apply them in my auditions, in the audition rooms, and it was like that over and over again for like three years straight. It was a lot of no's before a yes. And I was thankful for any yes that I could get, you know? I had a small little speaking role on Henry Danger. Carlos. Shh, Carlos. N-I-R, souvenir. Correct. And I was like, wow, this is, this is what it's like to be a Nick kid. I want to be on Nickelodeon, you know? And I was there for a week and I fell in love until finally I got an audition for all that. Attend, hut! I am Master Sergeant Smith, and I am here to guide you through the very intense course of kindergarten. <laughs> the audition process for all that was really, really interesting. And I vividly remember it was like, please come prepared with one to three characters around 30 seconds each. So I just did some of my improv characters that I love to do. So our first book is <laughs> Charlotte's Web, but And I didn't know what was going on until I got a call back. And I'm like, did I just get called back for this? I'm like, okay. And then I tested at Nickelodeon and I uh, tested in front of like a bunch of Nickelodeon executives and big Nickelodeon people. Good morning, Jamie. Are you ready to do your report on kangaroos? Uh, so ready. Only problem is <coughs> I'm sick. <laughs> I was just fingers crossed from there until they called back but they said they wanted me to test again. They wanted me to have new stuff though. They wanted to see what else could I do. And so I was like, okay, is this a good sign? Is this a bad sign? Like I, I didn't know how to feel, but I knew that I was still excited. At the second test, I tested with Chingoon. I love Chin Chen. And we played a card game together. It was like crazy eights. 
So I did the test at Paramount Studios. I, fingers crossed, I hope I did great. They're seeing me for a second time. That was amazing. It was? I mean, of course it was, duh. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> Thanks. And I walked out of the testing room thinking, I could have done better. I really could have done better. I hope I didn't make a clown out of myself. And as we're ordering the Uber, that's when my mom gets a call from my manager and my agent. And that's when they said, hey, Nathan, how do you think you did on the audition? I'm like, I don't think I did very good. I so could have done better. And they're like, oh, well, guess what? You got the part. And that's when I was like, what? Me and my mom, we both started crying on the sidewalk outside of Paramount Studios while waiting for an Uber. And it was just really emotional. I was like, I can't believe it. Like, I worked so hard for three and a half years that I finally booked something. Like, I finally booked all that. And as me and my mom were crying on the phone, that's when Chingun and his mom passed by in a car. And Chingun's like, hey, Nathan. And he's like, he's like, confused because I'm crying, you know, on the side of the street. And then two weeks later, that's when I met the rest of the cast, and I'm like, these are going to be my best friends now, forever. I, get me now. I love the cast so much. <laughs> Shut up! They're, they're my best friends, they're my partners. Kyle, what? what the heck? We love getting to hang out with them. <laughs> I'm so blessed to have booked this part, and I'm so thankful every single day. And it's perfect because I'm not just like required to play one character every single episode, you know? It's a new character every single week, basically. I love getting to play Ariana Grande, of course. It's story time with Ariana. It all just started off as a joke between me, my friend, Amira. We watched this Ariana Grande interview and we're like, we would always just go, yeah, to one another. We would just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just turned into a thing. And then I was like, hey, Maybe I could do an Ariana impression. Yeah! All that has definitely been really everything I ever wanted to do. Like, I just knew that I always wanted to do comedy. The first thing I would say to someone who wants to get into this is the first thing you need to do is know that you want to do it. Stay committed, stay dedicated. I feel like everyone wants to be an actor, you know? Everyone wants to be on TV in some sort of way, but you, ha you truly have to be in love with acting. And to test your dedication, try signing up for school plays, signing up for local theater, all of that. There's gonna be a lot of people who hate on you for doing what you love to do. And it's for stupid, petty reasons. And you just have to be confident in yourself and remind yourself that I like what I'm doing. And I'm sure other people like what I'm doing as well. So I'm gonna keep doing it.